Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Motivational Monday, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I didn't wanna film this today, and the reason I didn't wanna film this today is because you can't be motivational every day, and that is one of the main reasons I started this series, uh, Motivational Monday, is because sometimes it's really hard to find your motivation, and sometimes it's really hard not to just want to throw up your hands and just give up. And who knows, maybe God made me feel this way today because of the fact that maybe this should have been the topic for today. It literally is like 5 o'clock and I'm just now sitting down to film. I normally try to get my filming out of the way earlier in the day. It just kind of makes me feel a little bit more productive. And then I can edit and upload later that day. So today's message is don't give up. There are times in our lives where we all just want to give up and we all just don't want to keep going. Not necessarily taking it to an extreme as like committing suicide or something. Um, and if that is your extreme, then please don't give up. Please don't give up. Um, but I'm just talking about things in our life happens that's really, really sucks. and. We can try our hardest to prevent a lot of the things that happen, but we are all human and we all feel human emotions, no matter if it's happy or sad or joyful or whatever. But you have to understand that no matter the biggest and best feeling in the world, you have to go and experience the lowest feeling to really truly appreciate that nice, warm, happy feeling. And I know my motivational Mondays are supposed to be aimed towards being positive and everything like that, but we really have to come to terms with everyone is human and everyone goes through crap in their life, no matter if it is money trouble, if it's family issues, if it's friend issues. Maybe you just feel alone and you feel like nobody cares about you. Maybe you just feel like your voice isn't heard. Whatever the case is, this video is for you today. We really have to embrace the time that we have with our loved ones and we really have to tell people that we love them every single day. Another thing is, is we can feel like giving up a lot of the time and we can turn to things that maybe aren't so good for us, for instance, alcohol or drugs or things like that. And today I've just been feeling really sad and I can kind of, I'm not saying that I would, but I can see why people would do that. It's really, when you get to a certain point in your life, you just feel feel miserable sometimes and I don't know if this is because I've developed social anxiety so I'm alone a lot more than I used to be um, but sometimes the depression can just get the best of you now I grew up in a drug and alcoholic home so that's just not an option for me um, but I do have a better understanding of what my parents may have been going through in their life to maybe have turned to drugs or something like that. I am very fortunate at 26 years old to have my mom and my dad still in my life. If you have family that's far away, if you have family maybe that just you can't be around for any reason, or if you have family that has passed away, it really seems like the holidays get just a little piece of you is gone that holiday. No matter what you're going through, it will get better. Everything gets better. You have to see the crazy and awful storm before you can see the beautiful rainbow and you really have to truly experience the crappy sides of life and the shitty sides of life to really truly embrace and feel the warmth of the good times in life. I recently um, I've always believed in something bigger than me, but I've recently been putting a lot of faith in God. Um, I really truly believe every religion believes in their own type of God, and I'm not any specific religion. I really do kind of play on a lot of different religions because I like a lot of what they have to offer. But I don't know if I'll ever be ready to totally give myself to one religion, but I am totally ready to give myself to God. And it feels like he is helping me through these times and when I start to get really bad anxiety or when I start to just want to give up or when I start to feel like ah! I just kind of close my eyes and 
I get a really crazy feeling over me, almost like he, like a calming, comforting feeling. Not like any crazy voices saying, you know, this is God or something. It's just a feeling. It's just a knowing. It's just something that I really can't describe. And I'm not pushing religion on anyone um, because it was really hard for me to believe in anything higher than myself for a really long time. Um, but yes, so I just wanted to kind of give that as an option. Maybe you should turn your faith over to something bigger than yourself because that's been really helping me out lately. Another thing is don't hold in your emotions when you're feeling really sad. I tend to do this and it's really awful because you just bottle it up and you bottle it up and then you're going to either explode in anger or you're going to explode in tears. An emotion, every emotion that you're going through is human. Everyone feels them on the range from completely angry and outraged to completely sad and, you know, happy and everything like that. Everything is a human emotion, so don't ever feel ashamed for feeling the way that you feel. Don't ever feel like someone is judging you. And um, if you have friends that are judging you, maybe it's time to kind of reevaluate who you're hanging out with because you really want to surround yourself with positive people. Gets me into my next point is surrounding yourself with positive people helps so much. I am so, so fortunate to have married my best friend, me through so much, and I, him. We are a very good balance for each other. I really think that that is very important, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a relationship with a um, your mom, your dad, your cousin, your aunt, whatever the relationship is, just be sure that they are positive because you can, my favorite quote, you can be the most beautiful, juicy, ripest peach in the world, and someone is still not gonna like you. So don't get discouraged when people don't like you and don't get discouraged when people put you down because 99% of the time, either there's something going on within themselves or they're wishing they could be as brave as you to do what you're doing. They wish that they could find the courage within themselves to just kind of come out and say, hey, I'm gonna write a book or hey, I'm making YouTube videos or hey, I'm a medium or hey, blank, 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 dot, dot, dot. You guys get it. You have to be you. You have to do what you love to do. You have to put yourself out there. And maybe when you get rid of those friends and you put yourself out there, you're going to feel more comfortable. And you know in your heart who those friends are or who those friends are. But I do give thanks every single day for everything large and small that happened in that day, even if it was negative because I know that that's a lesson learned for me. And it is the same for you. If something negative happens, either you are subconsciously attracting that into your life as a lesson to grow, or you need to learn something from that in some way. Um, I really do believe in karma. Anyone and everyone has felt like a failure or felt really sad or depressed at one point in their life. And what you have to do is instead of letting that really weigh you down and letting that burden your heart, you have to be able to rise up and say, you know what, I'm not going to let this affect me. I'm not going to let what this issue is, whether it's a boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever it is, I'm not going to let this affect me and I'm not going to let this define who I am. I'm going to rise up and I'm going to make something of myself and I'm going to make the situation better. So for me, I'm just kind of telling myself that things are going to work out and I don't have to sit and dwell on the negative parts of everything. I'm really going to strive to do my best and thrive to be a better person because I don't want to be better than anyone else and I don't want to be anyone else. And I think that's a lot of the times where a lot of people get mixed up is they want to be someone and they see a YouTube video or they see someone on TV and they want, they really try hard to be that person. Don't try to be anyone except for you and don't ever try to be better than anyone else but yourself. I just want to be better than I was yesterday and if I can achieve that then I'll be happy. My goal is to make YouTube videos and to help others and I really want to help inspire other people because I know, dear God, I know what it is like to just hate life and hate everything and I've been there. It's really no fun, especially when you don't have anyone to talk to, you're just kind of on your own. So. 
let these videos inspire you let these videos uplift you so I'm just gonna leave you with this be an inspiration and just strive to be better than you were yesterday nobody else in this world truly truly matters because you are on your own path and you're doing what you love to do you'll never be able to live up to everyone's expectations of you so just live up to your own set healthy boundaries for yourself for you and other people so that just in case you are too much of a giver that you can kind of set those boundaries and be sure to stick to them that's even more important is sticking to your boundaries sticking to what you told yourself sticking to what you feel in your heart if a bunch of your friends want to go out and you just kind of aren't feeling it that night just you know be sure to say no because if you don't then you're not gonna have a good time and you're probably gonna bring everyone else down with you so just be you and there's no one out there that can be a better you than you you were sent here for a reason you are amazing and talented and wonderful and just know that everyone goes through shitty days and I know adult language but everyone does everyone goes through shitty things in their life and you just have to look at it like this you can take the things that are thrown at you say that someone calls you ugly you can sit there and go you know what great now I'm ugly and get mad and be like well you are beep 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 okay that's the first way to deal with it or you can kind of be like okay well what's going on with her that's making her want to lash out at me and don't look too much into it because who cares what's going on with that person get rid of them out of your life and then move forward but don't allow others to drag you down it's really not worth it in the long run and you have to do what's best for you and like I said everyone goes through things in their life so I love you guys so, so much. Be the reason someone lives, not the reason someone takes their life. Love yourself. Love others. Treat yourself kindly and with respect. Treat others kindly and with respect. You never, never know what someone's going through. You never know what they're thinking. You never know because you're not them. All you can do is be the best you that you can be. And if someone doesn't like it, that's their prerogative because you're doing you and you're being the best at it that you could possibly be. So before this video gets way too long, I love you guys so, so much. Just talking to my subscribers helped me through this funk immensely. We'll insert the pictures at the end of this video of the park um, and my dogs. They really cheered me up as well. But you guys were just the topping on the cake, just knowing that I have you guys for support and when I do post a video like this, I normally see really nice comments and that really uplifts my mood and really, really helps me because like I said, you never know what someone's going through and you never know maybe when they're at their breaking point. So just be kind to others and um, respect yourself and respect others. And I love you guys so, so much. If you have any ideas of anything you want to see from me in the future, leave that down in the comments. All my social media is always down below. I'm normally on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So I love you guys so much, and I'm going to be trying to upload daily. Just kind of, yeah, we will see. So I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.